So, what I'll do is see, I've got a decent presentation, but instead of running through the presentation, I'll just focus on one slide which I believe is very important for you all. Right? And if you feel, I think, what's the time limit here, maximum, sir? 15 minutes. Okay, 15 minutes, right? So, if unfortunately I am exceeding 15 minutes, request you to just shout out because I don't want to be in between their lunch, right? So basically, what we are trying to understand here is, I think we have had a lot of very good sessions, right? On markets, right? For example, how the last session is how we have seen some of the very successful MFD share some of their ideas about how do you grow clients, how do you retain, how do you use technology and all, right? But I think the most important question that has to be asked by all is, are you actually capturing the entire wallet of your client, right? So you go to your client, you meet your client, you discuss with him, okay, I want to invest in mutual funds, yes. And he says, okay, I'm giving you, let us assume 100 rupees. So he says, okay, I'm giving you 100 rupees, let us invest in equity mutual funds. I'm sure as an advisor, you all know that this 100 rupees is not all this, all this money, right? He'll have money in bank FDs, he'll have money in insurance, he'll have money in gold, he'll have money in real estate, five, six, four, five houses, he'll be getting rental income and all that, right? You know for a fact that your client has got a lot of money. Only financial advisor, he'll be having two, three bank accounts, there'll be bank RMs chasing him, right? He'll have insurance people, insurance advisors who are selling him insurance, they will be chasing him for mutual funds, right? You will have other co co colleagues of yours who is going to chase them for mutual funds. Today you have got internet, you have got online apps that are going to chase your client for mutual funds, right? So how can you ensure that you have the entire wallet of your client with you or a significant chunk of your wallet, right? Because I am sure you all agree that getting a client is tough, right? First time getting a client is tough, but most important thing is retaining a client. How can you all retain your client and grow with him? I think that is the one challenge I'm sure all of you all face, right? How are you in a position to retain your client and grow with him? What can you do to ensure that the client sticks with you? He does not go, he or she does not go to the bank for their needs. He or she does not go to another advisor. He or she does not search on Google. How can you ensure that you'll do that? What are you going to do different? Because today if you talk mutual funds, I've got 34 mutual, I've got 43, 44 AMCs, right? All of them are selling the same large cap, mid cap, small cap, sectoral, thematic, focused funds, everything same. So if you are going to talk the same thing, that a banker is going to tell you, tell him, or the apps, Google is going to tell him, or those apps are going to tell him, why will he stick to you? Or why will she stick to you? What are you going to do different as compared to others that your client will realize that you're providing them value addition, that you are, they are there for you, right? So this is something I'll just run through, right? So this is, I'm sure I, we have all seen all this, this money has got created. Why do people not make wealth? I guess you all know the answer, why people don't make wealth. Why don't people make, in the last, yeah? Freedom, fear, greed, the greed, yes, market as I think, we have had a lot of sessions now, you have heard. Markets all time high, get out, or markets all time high, I won't invest, right? That is a very simple, how do you get your clients to overcome this? How do you get your clients to overcome this fear or greed? Yes? How do you, how will you convince your client today at 81,000 level when the market has corrected last two, three days to come and put fresh money? Now Diwali is coming. Right, many people would get a Diwali bonus. How will you convince your client to put a part of the Diwali bonus in the equity market or invest with you, not just spend it out? Yeah. 
Yes. Yes. Right. Right. We always, as ma'am rightly said, equity is a long-term stay investment for 5, 10, 15, 20 years will make money. And it is proven today. Today, there is, we have enough proof that if I'm steady invested for 20 years, I have made money, right? Yes, so our investment that I give my own example, I've been investing for 15 plus years. My favorite, I don't recommend has been NPS. 14 years I've been investing, I've got good returns, right? So I give that example. But how do you convince somebody who's going to come in for the first time or who has seen the markets only bull run last four years, Suddenly, last one month, he's seen the markets shake. How will you convince them to stay? Right? This is a very simple story. We say SIP does this. Today, everybody wants SIP. They don't want mutual funds, right? They'll say, sir, yeah, ma'am, please do SIP for me. So this concept is very clear. SIP is helping not to time the market. But we are human beings. When it comes to money, I am scared, I am fearful, right? So when somebody sees a loss in their hard earned money, what are the first thing they will say? Take out the money, I don't want to see losses, right? That is the first thing people do because they're scared, it's my hard earned money, Baba. I work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. I don't want to see losses in my money. But as you all rightly said, equity investing means seeing losses in the short run for long term gain. So how would you get them to stay invested in this market? This is a data all of us know, right? Getting people to stay invested is the toughest thing. You have an existing client, he has made money. How do you retain that client? Is the question to be asked. How am I going to retain the client? How can I convince him, don't sell now, sir? 85,000 market after five years, it might be 120, 125, I don't know. Don't sell now. Or if the market corrects by 10%, so don't get scared. How do I convince him? Right? How do I convince people to ensure that this 50% which is happening, redemption in one year, comes down to 5%? How do I ensure that my clients are able to make money in the long run? Answer is very, very simple. Is this. Investing is not knowing timing markets, understanding beta, understanding alpha, understanding sharp, understanding trainer. No, that is not what makes a successful investor. A successful investor is one who is able to discipline their minds, right? The key to becoming rich, knowledge is important, but it is not just knowledge. The key to becoming rich is being disciplined is ensuring that you don't make the wrong decisions. So how can you ensure that your clients don't make the wrong decisions? How can you ensure that your client does not make the wrong decision? Yes? Today, what mistake many, we all commit? We talk only about returns, returns, and returns. So investor understands only returns, right? But why is the investor actually putting money in the equity market? Or in mutual funds, or in any investment? Why is your client keeping money in an FD? Why is your client keeping money in a corporate FD? or in a equity mutual fund or in a hybrid mutual fund. Why is he doing it? Or why is she doing it? Have you tried to understand that? Certain goals, right? See, your job is what? Yes, to guide the client on the right investment. But you must also understand one thing. It is not just investments. You are there to ensure that you are able to fulfill your client's needs right? They are requirements. That is what selling is all about, right? What is selling? Selling is not to just make a sale, right? One time you make a sale, that's it. The client may never come back to you. 
how will you repeat it when the person sitting in front of you understands that you as an advisor are helping them to fulfill their needs right all of us have got needs and wants so how can you as an advisor help them fulfill their needs and this is where we talk about behavior right this is where we come to about things like a behavior investment or this is where behavioral finance comes up here you meet with your clients you know your clients little well right so you go to your client's house you see okay the clients have got children you know today the costly investment they make is children's education right i give my own example i have a daughter today she is in fourth her yearly fees is 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees up to last year she was in a state board i used to pay 25000 this year we shifted to icsc i am paying 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees this is just from 5th to 10th after 12th i don't know what what she will do right that is a financial goal today how many of your clients you all are actively recommending products like debt isn't that an essential part of your portfolio because your client they give you 100 rupees they will have 500 rupees in fd right are you able to get that fd money out that is how you will increase business from an existing client right see advantage what you have an existing client you're not spending much money to get money from them but when you go to meet a new client you travel meet them five six times convince them then they will give a small amount but your existing clients you already have they know you they are with you because they trust you so are you utilizing their actual you know they have got an fd with them in the bank can you shift it here how can you shift it here very simple right child's fees when is it due say in april Op- opportunity right you have to you have to pay 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees fees in april month you get your diwali bonus now say assume let's assume it's 5 lakh rupees now what solution you give why don't you give this 2 and 1/2 lakh rupees in a debt fund let them ex- you talk debt mutual funds people say no baba i want only fd right because for them fd is safety assured guaranteed returns how will you get them into this you know okay they need the money after 3 6 months why don't you shift them into debt mutual funds or why don't you keep it here and try experience it how did you all get your first clients you convince them right sir take a chance with me i will give you that experience how did they make their first equity investment why are they continuing with you because they took a trust on you chance on you they had a good experience with equity now they are doing with you more right do it in debt sir don't give 100 rupees of your full fd here transfer a part and see how it will help you another very low hanging fruit for all of us is gold all of you all know your, you will have physical gold with you right in your house your clients will have tons of physical gold now dhanteras is coming it's very auspicious time to buy gold why do you want them to buy physical gold today physical gold has cost 75000 rupees 10 grams i have to pay 5% gst then i have to pay this that i'll end up paying 83 84000 rupees for 10 grams of gold why should i why should my client lose 7 8000 rupees on taxes how can you help him save taxes we have got a solution in mutual funds right we have got gold etfs you don't have a trading account you got gold savings fund right these are low hanging fruits get your clients to speak about them why don't we speak about these products because today i am focusing only on equity and maybe hybrid right equity fund for growth hybrid fund for swp i have got debt i have got gold i have got silver i have got three more other products which i am not talking about at all why don't you offer your client the full bouquet of products because they think you are only equity they don't know that you are debt you have gold you have other assets somebody else will come and tell right so now if you see dhanteras ads are coming up everywhere buy gold there's a special offer going on this that and all you are losing out on that business right you are losing out on that business how can you not lose on that speak about that tell your clients you have all these get your clients to invest in financial goals don't talk about returns very very important see this is all about mind 
Today I am talking returns, returns, returns. I see returns. Talk about their financial goals. So okay, after three years, I have to pay ten lakh rupees down payment for a house. That is the financial goal, right? After twenty years, I want to retire with ten crores. That's a goal. So I know three years down the line, what mutual fund will I give my client? I will not give him small cap, mid cap. I will give him a hybrid, right? After twenty years, I can give him mid small if the profile permits. What's your advantage? Suppose say today the markets are correcting by twenty percent. Client is scared, comes to you, sir or oh, ma'am, market is correcting. What should I do? You have a solution, sir. You need money after two three years. See, it is in this product, safer product, less riskier. See, it has fallen less. You need not panic, right? Market has corrected by twenty percent. Let's assume, but your hybrid fund has come down only by seven or eight percent. Your money is safe. You don't have to panic. So what happens here? So I'm just concluding. When we focus on financial goals of the client, right? We are doing three things. First, we are determining his investment horizon, his or her investment horizon. Because we know their investment horizon. we can suggest the appropriate product for them that automatically debt will come in investment horizon 6 months debt or arbitrage investment horizon 3 years hybrid investment horizon 20 years small cap so this automatically you will end up giving more funds to them right instead of giving two or three funds you will realize the opportunity comes for more so with that existing client your business grows up right So please, do, this is one way you can differentiate yourself. I go to Google, search the best performing fund. You give the same fund, the client will say, "Sir, I'll do direct. Why should I come to you?" Google will never tell you goal-based financial planning. Google will never tell you asset allocation. Google will never tell you for six months debt is important. For thirty years, you can look at equity. That is what your job comes as an advisor, right? You have an existing client base. You know only ten percent of their money is coming to you. How do I increase it from ten to twenty? Means what? Your AUM doubles automatically. You don't have to run for a new client. Existing client AUM doubles, revenue doubles. Very simple to conclude. This is what it is. It is not about how much money I earn or how much client money. It's about how can I get into their minds. how can i ensure that i am able to get a bigger mind share of the client through that get a bigger wallet share right i already have the client i am getting x amount how can i do it 2x 4x because normally globally the most successful wealth managers you ask them they will say why am i successful i have only five clients but i command 100% of their wealth I have five clients, but hundred percent of their wealth is with me. I know every financial detail of that client. All their investments are with me only, right? That is what a successful financial advisor is, and that is where you all should strive to be. Don't look at ten percent of the wallet. Look at fifty. Look at hundred percent of the wallet. Work towards it. Your existing client, your money will double, triple, quadruple the wealth, which will automatically. increase your income without having much effort so i think this is what i would wanted to communicate in this span so thank you everyone and i apologize if i exceeded the time thank you thank you mr niranjan subramanian that was wonderful short and crisp kindly stay there can we have on stage mr anil kumar channel head distribution kerala We'll be having the lucky draw from Axis Mutual Fund now. Niranjan ji, please pick one number. Number zero nine eight. Zero nine eight. Number two nine six. Two nine six three one two. Yeah.
can we have mr uh, suresh vv from ifa trivandrum chapter to kindly come forward and uh, after this we will have the mega lucky draw again only if you are present in this hall you get the mega gift <laughs> 